in three, two, one, go! Autonomous underway. Right away, we see some scoring attempts for both the Red and Blue Alliance. It looks like 949 and 4915 of the Red Alliance do attempt to score during Autonomous. And all three of those robots do move away from the initiation line, worth 15 points, giving the Red Alliance a lead as drivers step forward for Teleop. Blue Alliance has a lot of a ground to cover, but Team Pronto, 70-30 of the Blue Alliance, they make their way across the field. It looks like they will be collecting power cells, potentially from a human player behind the glass for the Blue Alliance. That human player deploys those power cells from the driver's side into the field. Those power cells roll on into Pronto's manipulator, and it looks like Pronto will come away with two power cells. Lots of potential points for the Blue Alliance. Checking out the remainder of the Blue Alliance, we see two solid signal lights for the remaining Blue Alliance members. That's 4682, Bravebots, and Chainlinks, 8248. It looks like both of those robots currently are not moving for the Blue Alliance. One of those drive teams, 8248, is attempting to regain control as quickly as possible. The Red Alliance does have some time here to extend their lead, just over one minute remaining in the match. The Red Alliance is also just one power cell shy of activating stage one of their shield generator. That's going to allow them to continue working on their dominance in this match. Just one more power cell. And then they will focus on scoring 20 more before establishing rotation control for the Red Alliance. That power cell does go in for the Red Alliance. So Red has now moved on to stage two. 18 power cells remaining. Looking back at the work of 70-30 for the Blue Alliance team, Pronto, they're trying to pick up a few more points for Blue. They trail 11-34. to 34. Three seconds until endgame. Our robots will now make their way to the rendezvous point underneath the shield generator for their respective alliances. The first one there for the Red Alliance is Spartronics, 49-15. Alongside them, Titan Robotics Club, it looks like both of them might try to hang during the endgame. 13 seconds remaining. Titan Robotics Club is latched on to that rail. They need to lift themselves up off the ground. They have six seconds to do it. And 25 points for the Red Alliance and Titan Robotics Club as time expires in qualification match number five. Red Alliance wins 64 to 16.